Hi, my name is Cyrus and I'm currently attending Marinal High School as a junior. The purpose of my project is to get people who are feeling depressed and or have mental illnesses out in nature by introducing them to golf. My essential question is how can we help depression and mental illness? Okay, so what is your name? My name is Kevin Shimomura. Okay. Uh, what is your job title and what do you do at your company? Uh, so I am the PGA Director of Instruction at Colgan Golf Club. And I have all of the teaching programs here at the facility. What is your company's purpose? Uh, our company's purpose, our overall company's purpose is to provide uh, golf experience to guests, local residents, junior golfers um, in the state and from around the world. Okay. Uh, how long have you worked for this company? Uh, July this year will be 13 years. Okay, so... How did you start playing golf? I started, my dad got me into the game. Um, didn't want to play golf at first, but he, he forced me to go and glad he did because this is kind of what I do now, so. Okay, um, what is your first memory of playing golf? Oh, geez. First memory of playing golf, Kapalua Junior Golf in 2000, no, excuse me in 1993. Okay, so you've played golf tournaments before. What was your first one? Do you remember? Hard question, man. Uh, 19, so I, I'm assuming it was 94, 95. So I was probably 95. I was about 12. Uh, Kapalua Junior Golf Championship. Okay, uh, do you think golf tournaments are a good way of making friends? Absolutely. Um, tournaments wise, I have friends from all over the world right now from playing golf tournaments. Um, every golfer has bad days. So when you have bad days, what made you keep playing golf? That pursuit of one day playing good golf. Um, it was, it's basically what I tell my students, it's, it's a never ending process, no matter how good or bad it is, you're either going to, you have two options on when you hit a ball, you're either going to miss it, miss hit it, or you're going to hit it good. That's yeah. it. The goal is to never give up and keep trying. What is the best golf experience you, you have had? I would say either the PGA National Championship or the Taylor Mig National Championship. Both of those first class, um, pretty much everything taken care of. Uh, gosh, you name it. Clubs, apparel, tournament, food, um, housing, everything taken care of. Uh, what makes a golf course so peaceful to play on? How do you define peaceful? Um, I guess like there's no outside distractions. It's just you and just like. So personally for me, playing golf is my winding down of my, like it's my, how I wind down the day or how I, how I get away from job life is kind of my, my bubble. Do you think golf improves your social interaction? Yes, because you start to interact with different people from all around the world. And uh, it, you learn about other people, other cultures. You learn about just people in general, you know, and that, also, that definitely helps social interaction. So, yes. Um, if you ever felt depressed, has golf helped with that depression? Repeat that one more time. Um, if you ever felt depressed, has golf helped with that depression? Oh. Honestly, it depends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you play golf, Cyrus. You know, yeah. sometimes golf can can cause frustration and depression here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Not serious ones, but, you know. Um, but golf is, like I said earlier, golf has always been my out. So that's my that's my decompression time. So when I go play golf by myself in the late afternoons, that's my time to just get away. 
So it, it, it works both ways. I think if you play tournament golf or you play golf at any level, there's frustrations that are going to get you in a not so good mood. So, right? but, oh. but golf is also for me an out and a relaxing out too at times. So would you say the golf like increase anxiety? Or I think I would be I think I would be I think I'd be lying if I said it didn't increase anxiety. I think it does, right? Especially if you have an expectation. Right? But if you're playing golf for the love of the game and being out with friends, then it's a good way to to take stress away. Yeah. Do you know anyone who has experienced depression or an addiction and used golf to get out of that? Mm, well, here's what I've done PGA Hope clinics, which are clinics for disabled veterans um, who have served. and who, So golf is, is definitely an out for them. Um, these people have PTSD. They've, they have depression, they have social anxieties and things like that. And when they come to the golf course for them, it is, it is basically therapeutic for them. So when they come here, it's an experience. It's for them to get away from, you know, whatever's going on in their life. So yeah, absolutely. So you would agree that golf is better played with friends than by yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think you're going to stop golfing anytime soon? No, I don't think so. Um, I mean, you can. I've, for me, you can play golf as long as you want, as long as your body tells you you can. You know, I, I've coached everyone from three years old to ninety-five. So, yeah, I'm thirty-nine now, so I don't see me stopping anytime soon. Okay, uh, last question: What advice would you give to first-time golfers? Find out why you like to play the game. Find out why you love to play the game. Okay, well, thank you, Coach Kevin, for the interview. Anytime, my friend. Anytime.